In this video, I'm gonna show you a super easy trick with the pentatonic scale that I guarantee is gonna open up your playing and your improv licks. Coming up! What's up guys? I've been watching a lot of Pete McKinnon videos and I'm trying to get a cool intro. Shh, what's up guys? My name is RJ Ron Kilio, and if you're new here and you're into guitar tips and tricks, guitar lessons and gear demos, consider subscribing. Recently I came across a really cool trick with the minor pentatonic scale. And the cool thing is this is super easy because we only change one note. I'm going to show you a few variations on playing a modified pentatonic scale and we're going to change one note either a half step up or a half step down to create a different sound that you can use in blues, jazz, R&B, rock, whatever. Ever. So let's get started. So we're gonna do all of these uh, using the A minor pentatonic off of the fifth fret. So the first alteration that we're gonna do is gonna be taking the minor third, uh, which in this case is C, the second note, and we're gonna raise it up to the major third to C sharp. So that's gonna give us this sound. So we're keeping all the rest of the notes of the, of the minor pentatonic, we're just raising one note. And this works great over uh, dominant seven chords. So if you're playing like blues stuff. This has a very Mixolydian tonality to it because you have the major third and the flat seven, which if you know modes in the Mixolydian scale, keep in mind that any patterns and licks you know in the minor pentatonic, you can apply to all of these. So like, for instance, if you were doing a lick in minor pentatonic, like, uh, then you would do it in this uh, form. Or a lick like this uh, would become this. Alright, so the second modification that you can do is taking the flat 7, uh, which is G, and dropping it down to the major 6. So you get this. This is awesome for blues too, especially if, when you move to the 4 chord, because that major six is gonna give you the third of the fourth chord. So. to me has like a Dorian tonality to it because you're getting the minor third and the major six. So the Dorian scale is... You're just kind of like leaving notes out of it. The next modification we're going to do, we're going to take the minor third and drop it down and play the major second. So wherever you see the C, we're going to play a B. So it's going to sound like this. So since there's no third, there's no major or minor third, this will work over a minor seven chord or a dominant seven chord.
And in actuality, it really is just an E minor pentatonic in this position. So basically you can play an E minor pentatonic scale over an A7 or an A minor 7. And I actually have a video talking all about using different pentatonics over different chords. I'll put a link uh, right up here. So the next alteration that we're going to do is we're going to take the fifth and flat it. So we have a flat fifth. And that sounds like this. Kind of sounds exotic, almost like an East Asian sounding scale with that flat five in it. I should stress that it's important to stay strict on these intervals and not try to resolve it to the, the regular minor pentatonic that we know. It's really cool to retain these, these intervals here. Instead of going because if you resolve it up to the fifth then it just sounds like a blue scale if you haven't noticed yet most of these modified scales sound kind of cool because they have a tritone in them. So uh, this scale that we just did, there's a tritone right here. Uh, if we go to the very first scale, which was the major third, there's a tritone there. And then the second one that we did, uh, which was the flat seven down to the major six. Tritone right there. So tritones make it a little bit funky. They create tension and just kind of make them sound cooler. And the last alteration that we're going to do is taking the root and playing the major seven instead, which I got the idea from an amazing guitarist named Rick Graham. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, go check it out. I'll throw a link down in the description or I'll pop one up right here. So this one, we're taking the, the root down to the major seven, which sounds like this. It's a really dark and mysterious sound uh, over a minor seven chord. But it also, as, as Rick said, it works perfectly over the five chord. If you're an A minor and your five chord is an E7 or E7 sharp nine. So after you get comfortable with these modified pentatonic scales in this first position, then you can figure them out in other positions up and down the neck. So play around with these, try to come up with some fresh licks, take the licks and patterns that you're familiar with on the minor pentatonic scale and try to apply them to these new altered pentatonics. Well, there you have it folks, five quick and easy ways to alter the pentatonic scale and make them sound a little bit cooler. If you've been stuck in a rut playing the same old stuff, hopefully these will give you some new ideas. And as always, if you like this video, click that thumbs up, leave me a comment. If you'd like to see more videos like this, gear demos and lessons, click subscribe. Till next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.